very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. It's always a All pleasure right. knowing that you're there, um, you know, looking at what we're doing uh, right here on this hand when we take you on the trip across the money spinning uh, world of sports. Good morning once again. I'm Yemi Adebayo. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Taya Salam. Let's start off with the show uh, with the Commonwealth Games, 2018 Commonwealth Games, and the D Tigers. They know their opponents in gold in the Gold Coast, and it's going to be in Nigeria in Pool A alongside Australia, hosts of the Commonwealth Games, as well as New Zealand and Canada. You'd say that's a very, very tough one for Nigeria's D Tigers. Yeah, hopefully they'll be able to cross uh, the line and not uh, be muscled out in that group. All right, let's. Um, Talk about the big one on the continent, talking about the 2018 African Nations Championship. The home Eagles will fly out tonight. The backroom staff, the coaching crew, right. and the 23-man squad will be out of the country, heading out for Morocco. Absolutely. All is now set for the African Nations Championship in Morocco. The Eagles fly out tonight from Abuja uh, via Turkey. They will land in Morocco, Rabat, on Wednesday. Also on the show, um, still talking football, and there was a major upset in the English FA Cup yesterday. Nottingham Forest ambushing defending champions, okay, former defending champions, Arsenal by four goals to two. That's the end of the road for Arsene Wenger and Arsenal. And a lot of Arsenal fans, they're not very happy. Uh, I mean, you can trust me on that. Um, <laughs> they've, they've, they've totally lost their heads. And that famous phrase is back again, Venga out. out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk more about this one later on. Uh, I mean, there's a lot to discuss in this um, particular uh, matchup. Mm -hmm. But let's start uh, with Australian Open, which is going to start next year. No, next week, I beg your pardon. And uh, more withdrawals. Uh, and that's the story. It's been a story for a couple of weeks now. Uh, big players pulling out uh, for various reasons, injury mainly. Uh, but this time around, Victor Azarenka has joined uh, a very long list of um, absentees. Uh, absentees. Basically, ours is a bit unfortunate because, once again, the issue um, with battle. the child custody, mm -hmm. uh, with, his, with our ex, as you know, red is ugly head again. And as a result of that, uh, Victor Azarenka will not be a part of the Australian Open which you serve up next week. Yeah, just like you said, unfortunate um, incident, um, not of our own doing. <laughs> and mm. you know, like you said, she, she's a fantastic tennis player, but her head is not in the right place as of this moment. Uh, you can't be having all of these personal issues right. and you want to do well when you get to the tennis court. I mean, similar story for Azarenka in the last, last one year, Correct. pulling out of tournaments, this custody battle uh, with her ex, really, really, uh, you know, um, Get, getting messy, mm. getting messy about the day. That's the word. And um, the Australian Open has, has been plagued with a lot of high profile, and this just adds uh, to, to the list. Uh, some will say uh, that, um, you know, less have been said about Victoria as a record these days because, mm. of course, you don't get to see her uh, when all these issues start. They started pulling out of uh, major events. So, on one part, I could say, it's not a surprise, but for mm. tennis lovers, it, it's going to be a big miss. Absolutely. Surely, it's going to be a big miss. Absolutely. I talked about um, a lot of withdrawals earlier. Um, the big guys, uh, Anna Murray, Nikai Nishikori, uh, Serena Williams, that was yeah. a bit of a shocker. To some people, personally, I didn't think it was a shocker because uh, she obviously wasn't ready uh, to play uh, in this tournament. And uh, for a player, a very competitive animal like uh, Serena Williams, she always wants to win. And when she uh, realized that uh, she wasn't there yet uh, to win that particular uh, tournament, she pulled out. Now, uh, Victoria Azarenka has joined uh, that very long list. Now, we just wish her all the best. Hopefully, she can you know, pull through and sort out this custody battle as soon as possible so she can return uh, to the WTA tour. It's still very early in the season. There's still a lot of tournaments uh, to play uh, this year. Let's quickly uh, move on. We're still talking tennis, uh, but this time we're talking about the uh, Brisbane International Open. And, um, yeah, surprise, surprise, uh, Nick Krios is the champion. Uh, he's done it in style against American Ryan Harrison uh, yesterday. It was in straight sets. And, I mean, Nick Krios has been, you know, around the block uh, for a while now. One of those guys uh, that a lot of people feel has what it takes mm -hmm. to go on and be a, a, a really, really good player. Just 22 years of age. And, but the temperament is always... Um, 
you know, in question. You see, yeah. a lot of people doubt his temperament, especially in the big games. Mm -hmm. And in this game yesterday, uh, I think he was on fire. I showed, you know, all the makings, all the stuff of a champion, mm -hmm. and he duly won this particular match against Ryan Harrison. Uh, first title uh, in Australia. So that's very, uh, if you believe in Omen, uh, perhaps um, <laughs> uh, the Australian Open has come at the right time for yeah. Nick Kyrgios. Uh, the issue has always been with his head being on his shoulder. Correct. Uh, his, his talent and ability uh, no, in doubt. never, never in doubt. Maybe we should just enjoy how everything uh, went down right. uh, in Perth and uh, we'll come back for more of course this morning. Uh, in terms of um, being an Australian who's got a very good chance of uh, winning uh, this particular tournament. Nick Krios, uh, champion at the Brisbane International. Let's move on. We're still talking tennis. And, uh, Yemi, let's go to the Upman Cup. And uh, Switzerland, uh, led by the Mercurial. Swiss um, What a player. Uh, Roger Federer. They've done it again. Three-time champions of the Upman Cup. Yeah, I mean... Ever since it started, everybody has been rooting for Switzerland, obviously, maybe because um, Roger Federer has um, a, a lot of fans. And um, it's interesting, over the weekend, they got a job done, crossed the line uh, against the Germans uh, in convincing style. Uh, she and her compatriot, I mean, Roger Federer and uh, his compatriot, uh, you know, get, get, got the job done. And very interesting, uh, the fact that um, they made it look easy. Mm. Um, from beginning to the end, not just the final, uh, they made it look easy, played some, you know, incredible tennis um, along the way. Let's also allow you to enjoy this. Uh, weekend was loaded with a lot of tennis action. So let's you allow you to enjoy that final that we just uh, talked about and see how Switzerland came on top, winning the Upman Cup for the third time in their history. <laughs> Again, set match, Germany. Two sets to one. Six, four, six, one.
Sosa lands. Two sets to love. 4-3, 4-2.